Megan being happy and peacefully living her life is triggering the tabloid media. Now, Dr. Shola actually posted a tweet saying this. Birthday wishes the one and only Megan Marco. The lies and stories about her in the last 48 hours evidence how is evidence how shameless the media is. Even creating stories out of thin air. Now, British public love it, which is why the media do it for profit. Such hypocrisy. Now, my family, the Dublin media has trotted out stories, trotted out stories about Megan over the past 48 hours. Lying and lying about Megan day in day out is what they do, and they do it for profit. I mean, they go so far as even claiming to have telepathic powers that they can read Megan's thoughts. My family, they know this that Megan is thinking about this and that. Like, seriously, you don't have to be a fool to know that that is a lie. You don't, you don't have to be a fool to know that that is clickbait what they do and it is wrong what they do and what they do is that they constantly incite hate about megan constantly hoping that her husband will abandon his wife and children to come back to the uk now normally what they do is just they simply trot out the nonsense that they've been spewing you know over the past couple of years and this time, you know, it's not different. It's not, it's not different. There's no difference in what they're doing. I mean, remember a couple of, you know, while back, tablet media said that, hey, look, you know, Harry and Meghan have been invited to Balmoral to see the Queen. Now it's after, you know, it came out that Harry and Meghan were not coming. It's, look, Meghan is afraid and fears that Harry will be lured back into the royal family after Balmoral visit. They claim to know how Megan is feeling, how Megan is thinking, what, what she's thinking about, how she feels personally. You know, I think abusers know one thing, is that Megan isn't going to tolerate taking abuse every single day to please them. Megan won't take abuse simply to accept that tiara or taxpayer funded money or to live in a you know at Frobo cottage a house they were forced to repay a cottage that looks like a servant's quarters but still tablet media couldn't stand watching a mixed race black woman living there with their white prince whom they think they own I mean let's be honest they do think they own Prince Harry that's a fact that's what they think. If you heard what they normally say, you honestly believe, indeed, they think they own Prince Harry. In their minds, they believe they own him. I mean, how can you explain that a full-grown person goes on national TV and say, a married man, a married man, goes on TV to say this, Megan stole our Prince Harry. She stole our handsome, you know, our handsome Prince, Prince Harry. Those are the words of Piers Morgan while he was still working at GMB a couple of years ago. On TV, Megan stole our handsome prince. What? Did you, have, did you want to have a relationship with Prince Harry? Did you want to marry Prince Harry? It's a sickness and it's a disease. My family, they think they own Prince Harry. They can decide where he goes, what to do with his life, who he marries. That's what they think. And that is not the case. My friends, my family. Now, the thing is, these individuals just resuscitate what they've been saying over the past couple of years. That if Harry comes back, he will be homesick. You know what? Harry, he misses us. He misses us. And he'll be homesick. I mean, he does miss, you know, his family. You know, Harry may want, to come, may want to come back if he comes to Balmoral. Seriously, who would want to come back to watching his wife and children getting abused? I mean, let's face it. 
Tabloid media just wants Harry back. They don't want Megan. They don't want Archie. Do you think they want Archie and little bit Diana? Mixed race children in the UK? They don't want Harry to come with, you know, Archie or little bit Diana or Doria or Megan. They don't want that. They want Harry all to themselves because they still think in their minds they own Prince Harry. And let's face it, these people have an evil plot to Prince Harry. The plot that befalls all the spares in the royal cult that calls itself a family, from Margaret to Andrew. And now they want the same thing to happen to Prince Harry. Because if you think that they want him back because they, you know, they love him or they miss him, that's not love. That's not love. It's a sick obsession. A vindictive obsession. Perfectly described. A vindictive obsession that they have with Prince Harry. And some of them have with Meghan. Like what Pierce has towards Meghan. And the tabloids themselves have towards Meghan. They are desperate to ruin Harry and Meghan's reputation. Desperate to ruin Harry. Desperate to continue inciting hate towards Prince Harry Meghan. And one thing none of them ever counted on is us, the Sussex squad, correcting all of their lies, all of the narratives they spew full of lies targeting Prince Harry Meghan, all corrected by us because we expose what they want to do. We expose the lies of W Media. And their intentions. If you think some people who said, you know, on their articles for the Daily Fail that, you know, in their firm belief that the roles should remain white than white, like what Dad Wooten says, if you think that they want Harry to come back to the UK with Megan, Archie, or Libertana, that's not the case. That's not what they want. They want Harry all to himself, all to themselves alone my family Harry escaped Harry escaped he escaped their toxicity he escaped their abuse that's what Harry did and they are angry that Harry escaped because indeed that is a prison and they don't like it when members of their own family their own cult that calls itself a family escape they don't like it one bit and they're still pissed off that one managed to escape. And not just managed to escape. He also, in the same breath, is also thriving in a different country. That is, you know, that's why the terrorists call them a threat. Because, first of all, as one of the reasons, Harry is thriving. It's a threat to the powers of tablet media. Because what they do is that, you know, Harry spoke about... The roles being afraid of the tabloid media. But that's not just it. The roles work with tabloid media. But also, yes, they are afraid of them in a way that if they turn on them, then it's game over for the monarchy. But the thing is, they also control the tabloid media. They leak stories about, you know, Meghan or Prince Harry. In exchange, they themselves get good press. Like what other senior members of the royal family have been on record doing. From Prince Charles to also Prince William. With Prince William, what happened when those rumors of his alleged affairs came out? Then stories about Meghan were leaked to the press. That's how they operate with the press. So why would they want think that Harry would want to go back to that business model whom he himself said, I have seen what's behind the curtain. I want no part of it. The loss of control of them controlling Prince Harry truly, truly acts them. It pisses them off. They feel it that as a threat to the power of the tabloid media. That no matter how hard they have gone after Harry and Meghan to destroy them, their reputation, whatever they engage in, their businesses, whether it's with Netflix or Spotify, it's not working. It's not working. Harry and Meghan are growing stronger and stronger by the day. And so is their love. That's why when they see Harry at Polo kissing Meghan or Harry at the UN, 
they try to undermine their achievements they try to undermine the love they have for one another by saying hey look Harry is being controlled by Megan try to peddle this misogynistic narrative misogynistic narrative you know against Megan that Harry is being controlled because they know deep inside tabloid media knows deep inside they are losing their power they are losing it they are losing it and what they are looking at is the future Harry and Meghan succeeding and thriving they see it as a threat the tabloid media knows that they are losing their power Harry and Meghan thriving will show even you know future spares like Charlotte and which I believe their time is also coming to be targeted by the tabloids to cover up for Prince George to show them that there is a path elsewhere a path of prosperity because Harry and Meghan have set that path even for them my family because the time will also come in which Prince William's own children will be targeted by the tabloid media my family such is what happens to the spares in the royal cult that calls itself a family now they've been saying this that you know Harry wants to spend as much time with his grandmother while he still can and the thing is listen okay Harry loves his grandmother that's true he loves his grandmother the queen elizabeth but the thing is when you look at what's happening in court what the w media want is first of all you know for prince harry to come back to the uk alone they don't want harry to come back with the children or megan and the thing is harry is in court he's fighting for the safety of his wife and children and the tabloid media they hate that they don't like that one bit they don't like that one bit even the farm itself does not like that one bit because they have been trying so hard to erase megan from the history books to undermine megan's previous achievements long before she even married into the royal family but despite all of that they are failing they are failing it's not working it isn't working and the thing is i think harry already i believe harry has already proven himself what kind of person he is a person who will always protect his wife and children much of the bitterness much of the anger and the ire of the tabloid media that is so so pissed at it that harry always protects his wife and children and that is what he will always always do i know because you know this message that harry might be lured back you know to the uk harry might be lured back to the uk and in all those messages they never ever talk about megan or archie or little bit diana first of all race is a factor megan is mixed race archie mixed race little bit diana mixed race and for those supposed you know tabloids themselves who can't control their racism towards megan they themselves by their own admission don't like the fact that megan is a mixed race black woman and the thing is not just that she's also american not just that that also megan just won't take their abuse and keep her mouth shut about the abuse day in day out day, day in day out that she faces from w media waged by the far because both of them are working hand in hand the monarchy and the tabloids both of them work hand in hand together to try and destroy Megan's reputation and also the reputation of the spare and that is Harry's that is what they want to ruin him they see it as a threat that they haven't you know been able to ruin prince harry my family and no matter what they do they will never ever be able to harm prince harry or even undermine prince harry's work my family now members of the squad you know i hate that they think that they can be the arbiter of megan's thoughts i don't like that one bit i don't like that they can think that they can tell megan what to do what she's thinking that they know what megan is thinking and we all know first of all megan does not speak nor do they engage with tabloids we know that harry and megan 
said that a couple of years ago they have a zero engagement policy with the Daily Mail, the Sun, the Express. They do not speak to them one bit at all. And now these tabloids, what are they trying to do? Try to say, Megan won't like this. Megan won't like that. You know, you know, Megan doesn't want Harry to do this. Like, you don't live with Harry, nor do you live with Megan. None of them live with Harry or Megan. And time and time again, they try to erase or even ignore what Prince Harry has said about going to the US. Harry has spoken about his life in the US. He said that, you know, he and Megan can both feel like their shoulders, you know, have dropped a little bit. They feel much better and more happier in the US. And you can see that in their eyes. And that's why the media is angry, angry, and so much pissed off. Day in, day out. Whenever the queen, you know, goes on vacation, it's to Balmoral, practically every week. It's like, will Harry come? That's the main question, topic of conversation, topic of conversation for the Tabe media. Will Harry come? Will Harry come? If Harry comes, make a one like it. If Harry comes, what will happen? If Harry comes, he may not want to leave. My family, abusers do not want you to leave their abuse. But there is life after that kind of abuse that you've experienced. And Harry and Meghan have experienced all of that abuse from the tabloid media and the monarchy itself. The farm from senior members of the royal cult that calls his family. They have experienced it. And abusers want you back under the environment of abuse. And they want Harry back so they can finish what they do. To all the spares in their own cult that calls itself a family. My family, Prince Harry has always maintained this. And whatever he does, he and Meghan will do together as a team. So then, how do these individuals always say, we know Meghan's thoughts. Meghan won't like this and that. Meghan, you know, feels this way. Are you in Meghan's head for you to know her feelings? The thing is, none of them are in Megan's head. None of them know what Megan feels or what Megan thinks. The thing is, once you escape abuse, after all of those abuses that they've inflicted towards Megan, even they don't think only a fool will come back that level of abuse. And they know it. They know Megan would never want to come back to that level of abuse. They know that. But the thing is, also, the fact that these individuals, the tabloid media, that keep on lying day in, day out about, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan, still believe, just as what abusers do believe, that you are better off with them and not with any single person. With any single person. And they've deemed Meghan already, years ago, they deemed Meghan unworthy of Prince Harry. And that's why they're so desperate at trying to separate a husband from his wife. I mean, just a few days ago, I even, I even saw somewhere whereby somebody said that, you know, Megan and Prince Harry went to live in California because in the event of a divorce that, you know, Megan would get 50%. I'm like, seriously? Seriously? You're telling me that Megan did not go to California because... California is, his ho is her hometown where she was born, where she herself calls herself, years before even meeting Prince Harry, a Cali girl, California girl. But she went there because in the event of a divorce, she gets 50% because W media, day in, day out, have done everything in their power to separate her husband from his wife. Because they can't believe, how would you leave the trappings of the raw cult? Taxpayer funded money for just smiling and waving at the camera. Well, the thing is, Harry and Meghan have already shown that what they want to do is more than just smile and wave at the cameras. And that's why they told them years ago, service is universal. And Harry and Meghan will continue to serve outside of the institution without receiving any penny of taxpayer money. And the thing is, you know, a couple of years ago as well, they also, this same, same hypocritical tabloid media said that 
you know, the taxpayer do not want to fund Megan while she was pregnant with Archie. And also, they do not want to, to fund, you know, Prince Andrew. And the thing is, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You don't fund Megan. But instead of being happy, you don't fund Megan. You are upset. You are pissed off. You know, nobody does hypocrisy more than the tabloid media. They get what they want and then act hypocritically like that's not what we wanted because they believe that only Megan would leave and that a husband wouldn't follow his wife and children. I mean, I'm assuming that's how they must have thought about Prince Harry. That he'll keep on performing his duties as a scapegoat of the royal cult that calls his family. Even abandoning his wife and children. They can come up with those stories that, hey, Harry chose duty over love. Seriously, like what they did with Margaret. What they did with also, you know, you know Prince Henry when he got a divorce from, you know, Faji. It, it's not, it's not going to work, not with Prince Harry. Harry is a real man. And this real man loves his wife and children. And he will always take care of his wife and children. You know, perhaps they do this because they are used to seeing divorces in their own cult. From Spears, for instance, from Margaret to, to Andrew. They're used to it. Let's, that's a fact. They are used to it. To Charles and Diana, you know, the heir to the throne, who never loved Diana. They always cheated on her with Camilla. Perhaps they're used to it. That's why when they see love, they, these people who have only known hate, who spread hate for profit, like what tablet media does and the farm does, when they see love, they become so upset and so angry. They feel threatened when they see it, when they see it, that Prince Harry indeed loves his wife and children. And there's nothing that this father, that this husband, that this man wouldn't do to protect his wife and children. My family. Harry would do everything in his power to always protect his wife and children. Much of the anger of double media. Let them keep on being angry, but let them back off of Prince Harry and Meghan. Meghan and Prince Harry left the UK after a torrent of racist abuse. After a torrent of insults directed towards a pregnant woman that she even wanted to take her own life. That is why they left the UK, for their mental health, to protect their mental health. And lack of support. The royal cult that calls itself a family. Harry and Meghan packed up and they left. But the abusers are so upset and are taking it personally that Harry and Meghan just won't take their abuse. That Harry and Meghan spoke up and spoke out against the abuse. That Harry and Meghan dared to stand up to their abuse. Well, I see Harry and Meghan keep on standing up and speaking out against the abusive ways of tabloid media. Never stop and never back down. Never fear. The world sees you and the world supports you, both Prince Harry and Meghan. And the world knows exactly that the UK tabloid media is bigoted, something even they don't like to hear. But those were words uttered by Prince Harry and Meghan. And indeed, tabloid media is bigoted, as Prince Harry said in the Oprah interview. They are bigoted. And they can't control their racism that Harry married a mixed-race black woman. They can't even control their racism towards Harry's wife Meghan or towards Harry's children. Always so desperate to erase Harry's children. Whenever they talk about Prince Harry, whenever they write stories about, you know, Harry is so desperate to come back to the UK to, to see the Queen and all that stuff. Harry will never want to work in an environment whereby the, rot the rotor exists. The same rotor that hounded his mother, then hounded his pregnant wife. And the abusers, Tabloid media should know that 100%. They have to come to terms with that because they haven't nor it seems they will never ever come to terms with the fact that they don't have any control of Prince Harry. Nor do they have any access to Prince Harry. Now they create the illusions 
about saying that Harry is being controlled or that Harry wants to come back to the UK and that they even know what Meghan is thinking. Harry already told them how he feels when he comes to the UK. Not my words, but Prince Harry it is always traumatized whenever he comes to the UK. That he has trauma. He said that in the me you can't see. Not my words, but Prince Harry's words. My family. Because of what they did to his wife and then for what they did to his mother, his late mother, who was just to her death. That's what Prince Harry said, not me. And the thing is, no matter how much they try to negate what they did to Harry and Meghan, the world sees what they are doing right now. And the thing is, Harry and Meghan left because of abuse and racism. And it's time that no matter how many stories they come up with, Harry will not abandon his wife and children to come back to a place that caused his wife and children so much pain. He'll come back to see his grandmother, the queen, yes. He loves the queen. He'll come back, you know, his mother is buried in the UK. So obviously he'll come back to the UK. But not to work with the rotter. And I think Harry has already showed them, you know, during that World Child Charity events where they complained that they were not invited. Harry made it clear already to them that he wants no part. He does not work at all with the rotter and that they should, should stay, all, stay away from him and back off. It's time they accept that Harry wants nothing to do with them. And that is not Meghan's fault. It is because of the racism or the media that they can't control towards Harry and Meghan. That is why. And it is time they come to terms with that. It is because of what they did to Harry's late mother. That is why Harry wants no part of their business model, wants no part of even them engaging at all. They have a zero engagement policy with the media. It's time that the Tower media comes to terms with the fact that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them and that Harry and Meghan will stay as far away from abusers as possible. It's time that they understand that. Just remember how they complained when Harry and Meghan, you know, left the UK after the Queen's Jubilee, how they were complaining. First, they complained that Harry and Meghan came. If they didn't come, they would complain. Then they complained, saying Harry and Meghan left so early. Seriously? Seriously? Abusers want you in their circle of abuse. Harry and Meghan, keep staying away from that circle and keep doing what you've been doing because truly, it's riling them up and pissing them off even more than usual. And I want to end this by saying this, end this podcast by saying this. Happy birthday to the beautiful Megan, Duchess of Sussex. And may God bless her so much. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Harry and Megan love one another. Tell media do not know what love is because what they used to do is spreading hate. And this time, their hate has met its match. Love. And love shall always surpass and defeat hate. Members of the squad, my family, what do you think about this podcast? And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. May God bless Prince Harry, Megan. Archie and Libertana, may they continue living a life of peace, joy, and happiness for the rest of their lives, far away from abusers, the monarchy, and the tabloid media. Stay tuned to our next video. Happy birthday, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. May their union keep growing stronger and stronger. May her union with Prince Harry keep growing stronger and stronger. Hate will never win. Only love wins. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love 
Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.